carry the load. I, I said before the season started, it was all going to be about the young guys. Right. Listen, uh, Iguodala, Dre, Steph, and Clay. These guys know when you get over 30 in the NBA, number one, the game is hard. But also, you factor in all the years they played in the playoffs. The playoffs are like another season. Mm. And they've been in the finals five, five or six times. <clears throat> so the whole season is going to be about the young guys. And, and when, you, when you're a young guy, defense is the last thing you care about. Because when they show highlight, they don't show defense. <laughs> and it's, it's still, this season's going to come down to the young guys. That's, to me, their biggest issue. Kenny, are they going to be able to fix this team and right this ship? Well, they're, they're in position. You know, they, they, without, with all of the 17 and 5 and 5 and 17 on the road, they're still, you know, close enough to yep. a four seed to possibly still get home court advantage in the, in, the, in the one thing. And when this guy's dancing and this guy's in the arena and this guy's healthy, regardless if you're young, old, or indifferent, you have a chance. And, you know, his, his ability to make not, not just 29 points a game and shoot 49% from the field, it's when he shoots it. In, in key moments of games, when you need a basket and when you need to stop a momentum or start one, he can do it. He has the uncanny ability, the way the two guys, my left and right, had Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan. They have the ability to figure out when do we need this to happen. And this guy understands when he needs to make things happen. Take a look at the Western Conference standings right now and when they needed to happen. Well, it looks like either now or very soon so they can move up into a spot where they'll have home court during the uh, playoffs right now. The Warriors sitting in sixth spot. Um, our, our later game, the Suns, I mean, they're in a free fall. That's a team. <coughs> really yeah, but we're going to win tonight. Okay. We, I'm guaranteeing okay, my uh, son. That didn't sound, that did sound too... Um, Kevin, as bad as the Warriors. That didn't sound good. As bad as the Warriors are playing on the road, you know, with, with, with their core three guys, they know, slash think, that they could turn it on at any time. So what Steve Kerr is doing to, you know, further what Chuck is saying, he's auditioning those young guys. Because with our main core, we could turn it on and we will turn it on. Right now, we're not playing well, but we're still in six. We're going to slide up. When it's time to turn on and get focused, we're going to be ready. And the guys that's going to audition it, we all know that, you know, the, the roster shortens during playoffs. He's going to sure. say, okay, you play well, you play well, you play well. Get with these guys. And I, I still think that they think they can win it all. I just want to ask you real quick, what happens when you go on the road that affects you that much, though? Well, when you're the championship team, everybody's playing way above their heads, right? So right. You, have to, you have to match their focus or have a little bit more focus. They, they still got a little bit fat kite, fat, fat kite itis, fat cat itis early in the game. They always try to turn on, you know, third quarter, fourth quarter, try to have these, you know, great comebacks. But, again, as bad as they're playing, they're still in the sixth seat. Well, right. you know, Kevin, you just, you just said it. You, like, you look at what you said. This is not the – you didn't say the Celtics game. This is the Warrior game. Yeah. So you come in town and you're the Celtics, and, you, and they say, oh, I'm going to the Warrior game tonight. And, there's, and they're the Eastern Conference champions. So people that – your antennas and everyone, their city is up. Everyone's adrenaline's up who typically might not have been up and when the, when the champs come in town because you know that your city is watching. So right. it, it does give you an advantage, but it also could be a disadvantage when that team is playing well because their antennas then become up and they're like, okay, we're going to meet you in, in the middle and you have not, and, and most bad teams aren't used to that. So to having a, a championship team up for you Right. Because you know. let me tell you something. They better be ready tonight. Oh, yeah. Because the Celtics right. are like. Right. It's personal, isn't it? It's, it's very personal. personal. Y'all beat us in the finals. We did not play well. Y'all beat us in the finals. But it was interesting. I want to talk about you guys showed Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole has realized his life has changed forever. Mm -hmm. Like, he's on people's radar now. A year and a half ago, they didn't put him on the board. Nope. Now, he got the bag. And he played great. They're like, yeah, yeah, we probably should put Jordan Poole on the board. Ken and Shaq know this. Man, when you play in certain teams, we ain't writing about but three to five, three or four players. Like, we're like, yeah, we're not putting that dude on the board. We're not worried about him. Jordan Poole has to accept his responsibility. Number one, I got the bag. Number two, we won the championship. His total responsibility 
changes. Mm -hmm. Like, he going to have to raise his level. Like, that's the way it is when, like, okay, they know who I am now. He got to say... What, what, is, what does he have to do now that he, he hasn't get, been he, doing he so far? He got to stay consistent. He got to stay consistent. Like, remember one game he had 40, mm -hmm. then he had 12? You can't do that. You can't do that. He has to be, like... Because once you get... Number one, when you get notoriety, mm -hmm. when you get paid and you win, people look at you different. Like Kenny said, oh, the champs are coming to town. To answer your question, Kenny, he has to be Clay. And he's been averaging 26 points a game since Clay, December. You know, well, Clay he should, is but, still... But he has to do that all the time now. So he's making his money. He is. He's but, making but, his but money. But I said, that, that's, that, that, that's actually the point I was making. Like, first of all, you can't wait to December. The season started in October. <laughs> so he took two months off. Like... That, that, that's the responsibility. Like, when you're a great player, like, you don't get no bad nights. Because they, they're, like, they're like, well, Charles Barkley, he didn't do his thing. Shaq didn't do his thing. Like, you don't notice, uh, I don't want to mention guys' name. We don't mention other guys' names. Sure. We put the, like, the guy, there's a, there's a responsibility. There's a responsibility for being a great player. You get all the credit, but you get all the blame, too. It ain't right. It ain't fair, but that's just how it is. You don't get to bitch and complain about it. You get it comes with the with being a star. Yep. But also, let's talk about for the fans tonight, because Boston will be electric. You know, there are certain nights you look down and you pay your money, you got your season tickets. You mark this night as a big night. What's it like to walk into that arena when you know the fans are coming, Kenny? Well, I think as a player, when you're on a good team, you're like. You, you, you're, you're feeling like we're, we're going to just let the world know we're the best. Like, and it's never like, I need to play well. It's like, oh, we are going to show them that this is not going to happen. Like, we, what you did last year was a fluke, and you shouldn't have beat us in the finals. I just, you know, I just remember when, you know, when Orlando would come to town, when Jordan would come to town, when Phoenix comes to town, and we had beat Phoenix in the, final, in the uh, Western Conference finals. I knew next year we were like, Yo, they're coming in here to let us know they might have mm -hmm. been a fluke. And we're going to let them know that Game 7, the kiss of death with Mario Ellie, was not a fluke. And we're going to do it again. So we do say that in the locker room because you want to... It's not only sending a message to the team, it's sending a message to the league. Like, oh, no, no, okay, they're, they're back. Why don't you ask Shaq a question? <laughs> no, I want... No, I want no, okay, but I want to ask him this question. Okay. Ask him what he played against Patrick Ewan. <laughs> you ask him. No, <laughs> David Robinson... Like, when you know when you plan against... Akeem. A, against Akeem, Akeem. You know when you plan against another great player. Got a... Dikembe? Yes. Yes, you have that, to. That famous cover? You have to step up. You have to let them know that I'm coming. Or at some point, you have to let them know that you're not the guy anymore. I'm the guy. To add on to what Kenny's saying, you also have to let them know that, yeah, last year was a fluke. We're a different team. And if you happen to get out that sixth seed and come to the finals again, this is what's going to happen tonight. So... You got to play well tonight. Ain't no, ain't no, you know, I, I, I was off. Like, you know, Jason Tatum, you know, he took a lot of the blame for not playing yeah. well, and he I, accepted. You know, I have one quick thing we got Stepping to, up. 20, 10 seconds. We playing Orlando mm -hmm. after we uh, beat them in the finals the, that year. And they're kicking our butts in Orlando. And I, I go into the lane, and I, I take a layup, and Shaq blocks the shot out of bounds. Akeem grabs me. He's like, why'd you let him block your shot? <laughs> I'm like, no, we down. Like, seriously, we down 16. No, I'm not, but I love the fact he said, why did you let him he block He said, it? why'd you let him? No, he said, why'd you let him <laughs> block your shot? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, because now he's going to think he dominated us, and they think they dominated us, because don't let him do that. So he, in, in his radar, he's mm. still thinking, like, at the end of the game, they're already beating our butts. Like, don't let him, even at the end of the game, have those type of plays. That's <laughs> what goes on tonight. It should be an electric.